Good morning, man. I know it's like two days after the fight, man. I, I had a busy weekend. I spent time with my kids and my wife for Easter. You know what I mean? But it's the big bounce, dog. Bounce how K Po through the dope. Kid have talked this boxing. So this is my post fight breakdown, the L Spence Ugas fight. I'm giving you my thoughts. Um, first and foremost, man down. Shout out to L Spence. Shout out to Texas. You know what I'm talking about? It's going down. Um so, for round one, or, you know, Ugas and Errol was kind of feeling each other out. Pause. Um, Errol was working at Jab. Um, Ugas uh, came out early, did a nice, beautiful counter in that round where he kind of slipped and caught Errol with a right. Um, it, was, it, was, it was a great counter. Uh, came, both of them were sharp, but I feel like Ugas did enough in that round. And I gave that round to Ugas. So I gave round one to Ugas. Round two, Errol kind of cut it up a little bit. Um, in which he was throwing more punches, uh, going to the body, or just being a little bit more aggressive. Um, I, I kind of felt like he was kind of pressing for a knockout in this fight. Um, so he was kind of being a little reckless. But, hey, you know. When the fighter wants something, I mean, speaking from a, you know, somebody who been in the ring before, <laughs> your coach can tell you something all day. When you won't get something done, you're going to push for it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, round two, I gave to L. I just felt like he was a little bit more busy, a little bit more active. I feel like he uh, deposited more of the meaningful shots um, and pushed the pace and dictated, uh, you know, just just ring had more ring generalship. Uh round three, it was a toss up. Uh I gave that round the arrow as well. Like I said, for the same reasons. Round four. Uh dang. I, I wish I would have wrote it down. But I gave that round to, to Errol as well. I think it was either round five or round six. I gave it to Ugas. I want to say round six. I gave it to Ugas. That's when uh, Errol had that lapse where his mouthpiece got knocked out of his mouth. And then he kind of looked at the mouthpiece and then Ugas caught him with two punches. Ugas also hurt Errol in that round as well with a right. Um, but I think it's because Errol Spence was not being calculated. Like I said, I feel like he was trying to push for the knockout. And um, like I said, against Terrence Crawford, you can't do stuff like that. But I understand, you know what I mean? Like like I said, if you – he in there. So he may have seen something. He may have seen a weakness in Ugas and, you know, was like, hey, I'm going to go for it. You know what I mean? But um, round seven, I gave the arrow. Round eight, I gave the arrow. You just saw Ugas kind of breaking down, you know, and kind of shelling up. And I felt like the fight should have been stopped around round seven. That's just my opinion. Um, that's when you really saw Ugas like really not throwing any punches. You know what I mean? The referee kept stopping the fight. You know, I felt like it was either round seven or round eight where L was on a roll where L potentially was gonna stop Ugas and then the referee stops the fight. So at the wrong time. I think it was like fifty seconds left. Y'all post in the comment section. I mean that this was Saturday, so I didn't immediately make a post fight reaction, like I said. I spent time with my wife and my kids this weekend. But um one it, it was either it was it was one of the rounds where the referee Errol was on a roll. Errol was putting punches together basically gonna stop him. And then that's when the referee took Ugas to the corner, you know what I mean, giving Ugas all this time. Like it could have been stopped earlier. It should have been stopped earlier, but whatever. And then finally, they found around L. Spence put some punches together and stopped Ugas. And, um, you know, well, we, they, the referee took him to the corner and, you know, basically that was it. That was, that was all she wrote. So, big win for L. Spence, man. I mean, like, like I said in my previous video, L. Spence, if he would have stopped Ugas, that's a no-brainer that he he top dog at 147. Not gonna lie to you. That's a no-brainer. You know what I'm talking about? Because Ugas has never been stopped. 
And L. Spence has more fighters on his resume who has never been stopped. And L. Spence has stopped them. You know what I mean? So you got to tilt your hat to L. Spence. Right now, he the top dog. Um, this, you know, the only fight left to make is a Terrence Crawford fight, in which he called Terrence Crawford out at the end of the fight. And he said he's going to get that belt. You know, I'm starting to see all these people, oh, Terrence Crawford will destroy L. Spence, and we're going to make a video about that. We're going to break that down again because y'all y'all forgot. Y'all done forgot. Uh, y'all done forgot. So I got to remind y'all, I got to I gotta break that fight down again. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, they was talking about, I seen Terrence Crawford say no excuses and no size of the street, but it's like L. Spence stuck to his game plan of what he was going to do. There was no excuses. L. Spence... Five, six years ago, told you, I'm going to beat everybody on my side of the street, and then I'm going to fight Terrence Crawford. He's done that. He ain't wavered. He ain't switched up. He ain't folded from his statement. Nothing he said is, like y'all used to say, cap. Nothing you, nothing he has said has been cap. Everything he done said has happened. I'm going to beat this dude. I'm going to beat this dude. I'm going to beat this dude, and then I'll fight Terrence Crawford. That's just what it is. And he's done that. You know what I'm saying? Now is the time. The fight go get made. You know, uh, I'm hearing Terrence Crawford signing with Daniel Kennehan. I don't know what the hell wrong with him. I mean, I can't speak for Bud on that. He just do stuff sometimes that don't make sense. But he a grown man, whatever. The fact of the matter is this. The fight going to get made. They going to fight each other. I, I think it be, it's going to be the biggest fight in boxing at the end of the year. I think El Spence will stop Terrence Crawford. That's just my opinion. Based off what I seen yesterday, El Spence will stop Terrence Crawford. Uh, you know, it ain't going to be easy, though. You know what I mean? It ain't going to be easy, but we'll break that fight down. But like I said, El Spence will stop Terrence Crawford. That's just what it is. I'm telling you it is. I'm telling you what's going to happen. All right? I, but, hey, I've been wrong before. If, I, if, I, if I'm wrong, hey. Like I said, and not me, we keep it a thousand on my channel. I was wrong about Cambosos versus Teofimo. I said Teofimo gonna stop Cambosos and Cambosos went in there and beat the doors off Teofimo. I made a video saying I was wrong. I said Caleb Plant was gonna beat Canelo. I made a video and said I was wrong. So I don't run for no smoke. If I'm wrong about something, I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna have to find me. That video will get made immediately. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna make a separate video, break it down, Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about the fight. Like, comment, hand, subscribe. I don't want for no smoke. Big Boss Gone.